So guys, I am back to the my position and let me discuss what exactly the truncate SQL statement. So truncate SQL statement is nothing but is used to remove the data from the table in one shot. So that is nothing but your truncate statement. Now, uh, what are the things happen when we uh, fire this statement? So first of all, as I told you, the entire table's data will go. Also, it will deallocate whatever the memory is assigned to the table for that data will be deallocated. Okay, so that is the thing you need to know about the truncate. And few more things you need to know about uh, truncate, which is what is the difference between the truncate and the delete. So this is the most popular and most favorite interview question uh, for the uh, truncate statement. What is the difference between the uh, truncate and delete? So you can straightforward say that truncate deletes the data from the entire table in one shot. But delete deletes the data or removes the data row by one, uh, one by one. In delete operation, we can uh, add the where condition, but in the uh, truncate, we cannot do. So uh, one more uh, difference, truncate is much, much faster than the delete because delete will remove the data one by one. So that all the things you, which you need to know about the uh, truncate and delete. And uh, in short, what I can say that delete uh, truncate is very fast delete is slow little bit as compared to the truncate uh, delete removes the data row by row but uh, truncate will remove data uh, in one shot in uh, uh, delete operation we can add the where condition but in the truncate we cannot add the where condition so that is the thing you, which you need to tell to the interviewer or anyone okay somebody will ask you this question now who all can perform the truncate uh, operation so of course database owner and table owner can perform the uh, truncate statement okay guys and one more thing <coughs> uh, one more thing i would like to tell at last which is once you truncated the table you cannot roll back that data so that you need to take care at the time of truncating the table make sure uh, you don't want the data before uh, performing the uh, truncate sql statement okay now let's have a notes on this all point so as you can see on the your screen these are the points about the truncate sql statement so guys i hope you have taken the notes and you have understood that points now let me begin with the, my practical example how to truncate the table. So guys so far we have understood the theory part of truncate SQL statement. Now it's time for the practical. So let me begin with my today's session. Before that I would like to show you the table which I want to truncate. So this is the table which I would like to truncate and once I will execute the truncate SQL statement it means the all the data from the this student table should go okay so let me begin with my syntax of the truncate sql statement so this is the syntax which we need to follow over here this is the uh, keyword truncate table this is the keyword and this is the table name which i want to truncate now let me execute the truncate sql statement on student table so this is how you need to write over here so once i will execute oh, this uh, truncate table uh, and then table name statement then all the data should go from the table so let me execute guys make sure you want to and delete all the data from the table otherwise what will happen it cannot be revoked or revert or i can say that rollback this is irreversible operation so make sure before deleting the data from the table so let me execute so as you can see over here uh, the truncate sql statement got successful now uh, <clears throat> let me verify whether the actually the data has gone or not or i can say that truncated or not so as you can see over here the table has empty and no data so it means this sql statement got successful 
one more thing i would like to tell over here the difference between the delete and the truncate which i uh, forget to told, uh, tell you in the my previous discussion which is uh, truncate cannot be rolled back and delete can be rolled back so there is a difference which i forget to tell you okay i hope you have understood the what is the truncate statement and how to execute truncate sql statement and guys if you like the video then please hit the like button share it and if you want to get the regular update on my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care